Hi, this is Tina and Lisa from Pilates 1901, and we have got a do anywhere, do anytime, no excuses ab workout. And the reason I love this workout is because it employs all the different positions and planes of movement that make Pilates so exceptional and so effective for creating results in your body. So as I go through and kind of talk to you about the different planes of the movement, you're going to follow along with Lisa and actually get a hell of a workout, a, an ab workout too. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. So we're going to start with what is called flexion of the spine. So that's going to be flexion. The first movement is flexing back. And as Lisa inhales back, she's engaging her abdominals, rolling her ribs back away from her hips, but also feeling that pelvic floor and scooping. Her shoulders are relaxed and falling down away from her ears. And she's engaging her abdominals, bringing her obliques in, working that pelvic floor, transverse connection. Do you feel it? Mm -hmm. Inhale to roll back, hold that deep scoop. So that's flexion. That's one of the first planes of movement, flexion of that spine, and come on up. <sighs> that one kind of, it really makes you hot when you start getting, in a lot of ways, but it really makes you <laughs> get heated up because as you get stronger in that connection in your core muscles, it makes you like have a hot flash. It, sweat. it makes you sweat. Mm -hmm. So we, when you start taking your Pilates practice to the next level and you actually start just sweating from actually engaging your abdominals, you know you've arrived. So we're going to take this now to the next step. She's going to do the same flexion, but she's going to add rotation, external rotation. So she's going to inhale to roll back and turn open, and exhale to come back in. And inhale to roll back. So this is obliques roll back. And again, she's flexing the spine, stabilizing the shoulders, closing the rib cage, working that pelvic floor, feeling that scoop. She's probably going to just explode any moment from being so hot in this <laughs> exercise. But it is very effective at incorporating all her control, all her connection from her obliques, from her transverse, and she's also stretching and lengthening the muscles in her lower back. One more, least. All right. So she combined flexion and external rotation. All right. So the next thing she's going to do is sit up as tall as she can. And if you are following along at home and you're not as flexible as Lisa, you could sit right on top of your sits bones in a neutral spine position by softening your knees. The worst thing we want to do is show them. Uh, no, not, that's not what we want. <laughs> All right, so Lisa is very flexible, so she can sit right on top in her neutral spine position. And now she's going to do rotation of her spine. So she's going to inhale, and she's going to exhale, twist one, and twist two, and twist three, and inhale back to the center. And it's as if her arms she she was holding a pole, so she's not leading with her hands. She's actually leading with her obliques and her rib cage. And up underneath that is that feeling of that pelvic floor like a corkscrew, lifting, lifting, lifting off the floor. So you're really engaging those core muscles, lifting, closing the ribs, softening the neck and shoulders, and huge rotation for that spine. And it feels good, doesn't Ooh, it? it does. Yeah. You, and you'd really be surprised because not only does it feel good to move your spine like that, but it's really because the opposition of the external and internal obliques and then that corkscrew movement underneath, you're really working really hard. Your core work. It might not look like that much when you're doing it, but when you feel it from the inside out, it's incredible. So now we're going to just take those two planes and we're going to add forward flexion a little bit different. This is called the saw. So she's going to inhale to twist. Exhale to round forward and the spine starts to reach way forward. So she's pulling back, flexing that spine. Inhale, she's going to extend her back up straight and return to the center. Inhale to twist, rotation. Exhale to forward flexion, reaching that arm back behind her. Inhale to lengthen back up and exhale to the center. And this one really feels nice because you're getting the rotation, you're getting the connection to your core, you're getting the length through the hamstrings, you're getting the erectors working as you come back up. Gosh, I love this exercise. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back up and bring it back to the center. So we've done flexion, external rotation, internal rotation, and this is side rotation. Now she's going to do side flexion, where she's going to be shortening the distance between the ribs and the hips. Now this exercise looks easy, not very hard. So make it look good, Lisa. <laughs> Okay, so she's going to inhale to stay, and then she's going to exhale. She's going to lengthen her legs long away from her head, the crown of her neck, and she's shortening the distance between her ribs and her hips. And, of course, Lisa's doing this excellent. I don't look near as pretty, which is why I'm teaching, and she's being the model. She's pulling in with her transverse. She's lengthening her legs long, and she's working the deep muscles of her core, but she's also working the rectus and the lateral flexion and the multifidus and deep stabilizers of her back. And I bet her glutes are kicking a little bit, too. Yeah. Exhale up. Woo! Okay, I'm going to be mean. Turn around. Do it the other side. Because the reason why I'm making her do this is because sometimes one side of our body is not like the other. In fact, most of the times it's not. We're not symmetrical. Pilates is about, go ahead and just do this. Pilates is about, see? Uh-oh. Okay. 
If Pilates is about testing and challenging those asymmetrical compensations that we make in our body to, you know, come back home and make us the most symmetrical and the most efficient in our movements. So it's really important not just to favor your good side. You got to do the not so good side, or I don't want to blame, but the less inclined side, okay? So this is side flexion. That's another hugely challenging position in Pilates positional training. Okay, so now we're going to come to the tummy. And it's nice to say we. All right, so we're going to work on extension. So if you've got flexion, you're going to have extension as well. So Lisa's going to show you a beautiful breaststroke prep. She's squeezing her glutes. She's activating her pelvic floor, pulling in with those abdominals. And she's just going to raise up gently and keep her head in that nice long plane. She's really pulling her scapula down, really pulling her abs. And so there's not a lot of tension pooling in this lower back, OK? As she lifts up, it's again, she's reaching down through the, her toes and up through the crown of her head. Now I'm going to ask her to put her hands underneath her forehead. This is going to make it much harder because now she's having to lift without the support of her hands. So she's going to exhale to come up and inhale to come down. She's really firing through her glutes. One more time. Exhale to come up and down. Now I'm going to change the breathing on you, Lisa, okay? okay? I'm going to have you inhale to come up and I want you to externally rotate to one side. Extremely difficult Ooh. move. Inhale to come back to the center and exhale to stay down. So she's working against gravity, three out of four of those counts. Inhale to lift up, externally rotating. I'm telling you people, this is not for sissies. And one more time. <laughs> it's a great glute workout. It's a great postural exercise for working the muscles of the extensors in your back, but also a lot of core work required for this. And last time, do you have anything left for breaststroke now? Yep. And then back down. Do you need a rest? <laughs> no, we're ready. All right. So the last exercise, and I'm telling you, if you do five or six of each of these, you don't need to be doing this Pilates stuff all day. You just need to do it right, six, six times, all right. So here we go, Lisa, show us our extension up. She's gonna sweep around, bringing her arms back. Nice, inhaling forward, exhaling, sweeping into extension. You feel, see how she's working through her glutes, but she's also working all these great, strong muscles. That's why she looks so good and so toned and beautiful and great posture. So, you know, if your posture is better, you look 10 pounds smaller already. So we, we work on everything from the inside out and break. So we did flexion, extension, rotation, side rotation. We did everything. We did it all. How, how did that feel? Was that hard? Great. It was tough. So, all right. Watch it again, but do it with her. Okay. Thank you.